Hi, I'm Goli, Senior Editor of Make, and for this weekend project, we're calling all pranksters and small-time covert operators. We have something just for you. Ease your eavesdropping with this Mission Possible, the Covert Listening Book. Connect a small, amplified listener with a wireless transmitter, and you have the staple of any secret agent, a wireless bug. Tuck them inside a hollowed out book with the mic concealed by the dust cover, and you've got a covert listening device that you can leave lying around anywhere. Tune in through an FM radio in the next room, and that classified intelligence is yours. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. The Covert Listening Book is a super simple build using a minimum of electronic parts including two gutted ready-made devices. The most time-consuming part is hollowing out the book and waiting for the glue to dry. For this build, you will need the following parts. And you'll also need these tools. To launch our top secret mission, we'll first need to test everything. Plug the headphones into the listener and turn it on. You should hear your surroundings like a bat. Next, plug the headphones into the FM receiver and tune it to a static only spot at the low end of the dial, where these wireless FM transmitters generally broadcast. Plug the transmitter into the listener, tune it to match the receiver, and you should be able to hear the sounds of the listener through the receiver. The signal should be strong, but it might have some static. Note that once you find a working channel, you should avoid changing the frequency on the radio or the transmitter. Have a co-conspirator help you with your test by talking near the listener while you walk away and listen through the receiver. See how far you can get before the signal is no longer intelligible. For best range, be sure to use fresh batteries. You don't want to deal with a runaway Shed the extra bulk by unscrewing the listener and transmitter's plastic housings and taking out their guts. Note the location of all the controls, on, off, volume, balance, tuning, and so on. Hook everything back up with jumper cables, drawing power from two AA batteries in a holder, and test again. Next, we'll remove the two microphones from their original positions so that they can be mounted in the book's outside spine, increasing their exposure. To do this, desolder the mics from the PC board, being careful not to damage them or any nearby electronics with too much heat. Use hookup wire to extend the leads of both mics by a few inches and resolder the extended leads back to the board. Attach the power leads from the two components to the leads from the battery box. Twist all the red or positive wires together and then twist the black or negative wires together. Solder and cover with heat shrink. Pick a hardcover book with the dust jacket in good condition and a title that won't draw undue attention from your intended target. You don't want them to notice the book and start looking through it. Skip a few pages and set your components centered side by side on a front facing page. Draw a rectangular outline of the components with a ruler, making sure there's still enough book left around the edges. This outline will become your compartment. Use a hobby knife and a ruler to cut the rectangle through the pages, cutting down about 1 16th of an inch each time and stopping within a quarter inch of the back cover. A binder clip is useful to keep the cut pages out of the way while you work on downward. Cut a piece of paperboard a little bit smaller than your compartment to serve as its floor. Glue the cardboard floor to the bottom of the compartment and give the walls three coats of 50-50 solution of white glue and water. Allow each coat of glue to dry for 12 hours with the book under weights to keep the pages flat and wax paper between the top sheets to prevent them from sticking together. Then clamp the book between two boards to keep its pages secure and drill a one half inch hole through the spine and into the compartment. These tunnels will house the microphones and their rubber sound dampeners. Clean away the shredded paper and paint the tunnels with the glue solution. When the glue is dried, slide the microphones and their dampeners into the holes in the spine, leaving about an eighth of an inch of space so that they don't touch the dust jacket. Then use Velcro tape to mount the rest of the components to the compartment floor. Tidy the wires so that they're all well within the compartment and the book can be closed. Test the rig again, put the dust cover on, and you're ready for intelligence gathering. Conceal the book near your target subject, sneak off to the next room, and behold the top secret information being revealed. Another cool use for this setup is as a covert two-way communication system. If you assembled two of these systems, then you and your fellow agent could conduct a whispered conversation in a noisy environment while sitting across the room from each other. If you come up with any new and exciting uses for this project, we hope you'll share the secret with us on the project page.